that's... Lena! Eleven! You! Lady Lena! Levin! You! Lady Lena! Vitaly, come look! Lady Lena! It's spreading too quickly. A new strain, perhaps? But even then, it's just too fast. Hey, hey, she's gonna be okay, right? Right? I can't say yet. Uh, Annette. I'm here. What do you need? Water? Would that help? Hey, we could go back and see the Nerids. Yeah, let's hurry. Danet, please remember. A promise. No, I know. Just don't talk. Save your strength. B promise. I know. I will. But you have to promise you'll be okay. You are a good girl. I don't feel her soul. I can't believe it, but the hag died. What? Died? No! No, that's not what I want! It's a lie! That's all you do is lie! Come on, tell him! It can't be true! I don't believe you. I bet she just used some sort of magic. I bet she's fine! I bet she's waiting for us back at the village. No, the village is gone too. Lady Lena, what am I supposed to do without you? Where am I supposed to call home? <laughs> One down, too many to go. Next up, it's your turn. Levin, what are you saying? What's come over you? Ah, a little confused, are we? You really so broken up over one decrepit old witch? She's better off, trust me. And I should know. I'm the one who killed her. <laughs> What's the matter? You think I've gone insane, don't you? Maybe it looks that way, since I'm not the moronic punching bag you come to know and love. Hmm... Perhaps he's under a spell? Psst, wrong! This is the real me. Then... You're a spy? <laughs> I guess you could say that. Close enough, anyway. Looks like I'm better at your job than you are, huh, Vitaly? But unlike you, I'm not under anyone else's orders. I've got my own goals in mind. You never really noticed? No. 
No, I guess someone like you wouldn't. <laughs> I'm Levin! Duh! But I guess I'm not the Levin you've come to expect, huh? Considering my whole routine was just an act. I bought this body from Lobo ten years ago. Two bodies, actually. Siblings. Lobo? The slave trader? I see. I suspected as much. Euphoria was a captive of Yesterwind. That's right. In order to move around the world without raising suspicion, I needed bodies. I bought the brother and sister from Lobo, crushed their souls, and commandeered their flesh. Both top-notch vessels, though I did experiment a little too much with the sister, and she kinda... broke. So you killed her! <laughs> you got me. You got way too close to her, Endorf. I never thought you'd worm your way into Yesterwind like that. But I couldn't let you find out the truth just yet, so I put an end to that before it got out of control. You still haven't figured it out, huh? Wow. And you thought I was stupid. I'm sick of being treated like some mindless weapon. I'm sick of taking orders and doing things against my will. And the only way to avoid being controlled is to become the controller. To take the role of what you would call a god. I get it now. Unbelievable. But just so there's no confusion, this isn't like Thoris's desire to become like a god. I want to rule everything. And that means I have to obliterate anyone who might try to stand up to me. That's why all my obstructions, Fane, Thoris, Elena, and you, Gig, I've been killing you all one by one. If you knew my plan and worked together, it would have been tough. But alone, you were each mere child's play. <laughs> I wouldn't expect you to. The time I've spent on this planet can be measured in centuries. You and I are nothing alike. Two hundred years I waited. Waited for my chance. I think it was about a hundred years ago when a certain Dio contacted me. At first, I wanted to just rip his head off. But we share a common interest, so I decided to work with him. Ten years ago, Gig, your soul cried out for but a brief moment. I knew your revival was coming. So I got this body. I lived out my excruciatingly dull human life in Aztec, gathering information, waiting for you to show yourself. So that's why you were so determined to remain a guard and never leave. Hey, I think this one's starting to piece things together. <laughs> Gig, I'll never listen to another mindless word you utter ever again. I'll soon take the throne of Drazil himself. I have to wonder where you learned all those fancy, angry words, Raksha. Certainly not from me. Hmm? Raksha? I've heard this name before. Be he. Lady Lena. <laughs> Reality's finally starting to drill its way into your thick skulls. I killed Lena, and I enjoyed it. 
Hey, Gig, you don't like that I've learned a few new words? Well, tough shit. I'm feeling verbose, okay? So I'm gonna talk, and you're gonna listen. You know how you were always complaining that I dragged trouble wherever I went? <laughs> I really was a pain in the ass, wasn't I? You mean, whenever you'd show up with trouble right behind... That's right. It was all my fault. Every single time. And when I took this body ten years ago, I went ahead and destroyed an entire country just to warm up. Actually, I just wanted to make them suffer, but my hand slipped and... oopsie. The Ellsberg Republic. It was vaporized in a single night. I'm sure now that you know, a lot of fun little things spring to mind. You know, like, sis. Yes, even my lovely big sister, or more like my precious little doll, her soul had long since faded away. Endorf, you got a little too close and realized something was wrong, didn't you? <laughs> I was only using her as an easy way to communicate with Dio. She was only good for so much. A little doll, get it? Euphoria was no doll! <laughs> you crack me up. Well, it doesn't matter anyway. Now she's just a broken, useless toy. Oh, here's a fun fact. The poison that killed her and Lena was a refined concentration of Scarlet Iago. And here's the funny part. She was the one who developed it. She had no idea what it was for. Sad, huh? <laughs> you son of a bitch! Oh, how cute. What kind of moron would stick around just to brag? This is a fun piece of magic Dio cooked up for me. Yo, Gig. Next time I see you, I'm going to drag you out of that ugly meat sack and demolish you. Have a nice day. <laughs>